How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be completing a sleeve. I started the outer panel of the leg about four, three weeks ago, and I'm gonna be doing the inner part of the leg sleeve now. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Nada lo hace como yo. Nada lo hace como yo. No somos primero, pero su segundo de toda mi serie que si la pegó. All right, I'ma have you lay down, and I'ma shave you. Unless you already shaved. Should be you pretty good. Already? Yeah. Oh my God. Let me see. You know I'm looking out. Oh damn. All right, I'm gonna have you lay down here. I feel like I'll be better. I put it on the stencil while you're laying down. Conocerte bien sería un placer. Sería un placer. Sería un placer. Yeah. Back at it We're again. Getting it done. Look at how the outside healed. Damn. All right. What do you mean? Fresh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm I'm stoked for this. <laughs> All right, stretch it. This I'm gonna have you kind of turn. There you go, right there, right. right there, perfect. Everyone's in early today. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> I know. Boy, he's just jealous. He just. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you think? <laughs> You think they book with me because of my tattoos? <laughs> Fuck no! It's my massages, my guy. <laughs> oh shit. So in a different situation, I would have um, have the client stand up so I can place a stencil. But, um, you know, I'm pretty sure if you are new to the tattoo industry, uh, the number one rule is to have your client always uh, stand up and, uh, and have the client, you know, having a relaxed position that way the body is, is perfectly perpendicular. But in, in this situation, I, I feel like, uh, I, I mean, I've been doing it now for a few years now, I can kind of get an idea of how the stencil is gonna look if I placed it uh, in like him laying down. So my client's laying down because I feel more comfortable putting on the stencil in this situation. Let's do it. I'm gonna have you stand up. Let's check out this placement. So today we're gonna be doing the inner sleeve because about two weeks ago we, in, or two, no, it's been like three weeks now, huh? Three or four. Three yeah. or four. Three or four weeks ago, <laughs> around there, we did the whole outer panel of the leg here and we ended up completing it in two days. So now we're gonna be doing the inner and we're gonna be also doing a two days back-to-back -back project First thing I'm gonna be doing is the first piece here on the top, and I'm gonna continue uh, with the lower part of the leg here to cover up the, the rest of the tribal. And he's gonna have a full sleeve. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We got through a lot of the bottom portion of um, the statue here. Uh, as far as the face, what I did with the face right now is pretty much just applied my first layer with nothing but solid black. I uh, did it with my 14 round liner because that allows me to do texture without having to do a whole bunch of little lines. Uh, it's letting me do circles, it's letting me do the scribble technique and all of that. Now that I have the, the shape and the map uh, on the face, 
Now I'm gonna start applying my medium gray, fading it towards my highlights. Then after that, I'm gonna start using my lighter grays. And finally, at the end, I'm gonna do my white highlights to make it look like it's silver, kind of titanium, uh, give it that effect. And other than that, I'm gonna keep doing the same thing on the forehead here. And yeah. What's up, what's up? What? Everybody's tattooing today, bro. It is a tattoo convention, tattoo expo. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Everybody just stopped right now. One thing I do love about using a 14 round liner or a 14 round shader uh, is the fact that it allows me to do a, a lot of coverage. Like if it was a, a curved mag or if I was using a mag in general. Uh, that's why I really like it. And it also lets me do the texture that I need to see on the, on the piece. Uh, I'm running my machine at 5.0 voltage and I never change my voltage because of I'm so comfortable with it and I'm able to get through it at a faster rate, less irritation and better coverage. Oh. Cut! <laughs> I'm gonna pop your back. Turn around. You, I can try. I got you, bro. That was whack, huh? That was hella whack. Me, 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 me. Me first. All right, well, if they do that, breathe all the way out. <laughs> I'm so tense, bro. Sit. Sit. I don't know. I can't relax. I How does it feel? Is it sensitive? Is it uh, sore? It's not too bad. It just feels like a uh, swollen. Swollen, huh? Yeah, this is the hardest part because every time you walk, it like oh, it grinds. Oh no! So I'm walking around, kind of like holding myself <laughs> like a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger! <laughs> <laughs> Bigger than this. <laughs> oh man. Same problem every time. Same problem. Underestimating the size. Line this up with this. And. I hope it's the one. I hope. Stand up? Yes. Day two!
So now I'm going to begin doing the face. It has a whole bunch of texture. So what I'm going to be doing is using my 14 round liner with a, a voltage of a 5.0. And my goal is to use a, a lot of contrast, a whole bunch of black. Because I'm going to contrast it with my lightest gray to make it look like it's glowing and give it that highlight on the top of the, the mouth and the eyebrows area. So definitely want that to shine the most. Thank you so much for coming back and watching this brand new video. I really appreciate you. It was a really fun project. I had a lot of fun, uh, especially with a client like that. He sits like a rock. He definitely gives me a lot of creative freedom and the vibes are always great with him. And so with that being said, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.